All right, so now that we've got our document set up, let's go ahead and pull that SVG file that we exported from Compass here into our Cave Map Illustrator file. So to do that, traditionally what you do in Illustrator is you place a file, um, especially if it's something that you're going to continually update. So I may go back out in the cave, collect some additional data, enter it into Compass, export a new SVG file. And the great thing about placing is that then when I when I update that new file with the same name and then refresh it, it would automatically reflect, reflect here. So that would be the that would be like the perfect thing to do but what i realized is that doing that with um with the svg files exported from uh, from uh, compass for some reason it doesn't seem to retain layers it compresses it all into one layer so i've discovered that i really have to do it the the harder way which is just copying and pasting those layers and then whenever I have a new line plot, I'm just gonna have to clear out those layers that the uh, SVG graphics are on and then re-import the new ones. So unfortunately, uh, not the ideal, but it is what it is. So if, I mean, you could play an Inkscape and see if placing is an option and if it brings it in a little bit better. Um, to place something, you just go to file and then down to place. And it doesn't actually put the graphics in here sort of it's like referencing them somewhere else so they're not stored in the illustrator file they're just referenced although i think there is an option when you place to actually uh, like bring that data into the into the illustrator file um but i would recommend just linking to it so like i said that doesn't really work the way that i would hope it does so we're going to do um, something different we're going to go to file and we're going to go open and we're gonna open the, we're gonna start with the plan view. So I hit open. And it's opened a new Illustrator file here. And there's our cave map. So I need to be able to get this from here over to here. And I just wanna grab the information that I need. And really all I need are the, is the line plot and the walls and the scale down here uh, is kind of the main thing that I need. Uh, the, gr the grid and all this other stuff like I don't need. You can see it's created an enormous number of layers. So we're going to uh, collapse those. And then we're going to figure out which layers we need. So I don't need this. This is like a background. Um, and what I do is I just click on it and turn it off. And if I see nothing changed, then I don't really need that layer. Some of these are actually blank. So we'll turn off comp features, tracing. I'm going to need that because that looks like the walls. The mask, I don't need. 2D details, don't need. Walls, don't need. Survey, that's the line plot, so I'm going to keep that. The labels are the stations, so I'm going to click keep that. Um, the grid, I actually don't need the grid, so I'm going to uncheck that. And then the legend, definitely going to keep that. The frame, don't need that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is just select everything here by hitting command a or you can probably somewhere up here it's probably under object uh, let's see select all somewhere uh, there it is select all so that's the other thing you can do or hit command a so i've got everything selected there and i'm going to hit command c to copy it and uh, then we're going to come back over here and paste it now there's something that's really important here when you paste it in Illustrator. If I were to paste it, um, right now I've got everything set up so that it pastes the way that I need it to. But if I hadn't done that, then when I pasted it, it would all flatten down into a single layer. I want it in multiple layers. So in order to do that, here in the layers panel, this little three line thing, you're gonna click on that and make sure that paste remembers layers is checked. If it's not checked, then you'll get exactly what I just talked about, where you can see all these lines are all pink, the same color, and they all ended up on the stalagmites layer. I don't want that. So I'm gonna undo. We're gonna re-enable that. Paste remembers layers, paste, and now it's brought in not just the objects, but also the layers. So now that that's in, I am going to organize it just a little bit. Um, actually, you know what I'll do is I'm going to delete these layers that I created earlier, because I don't really need those right now. I'll create them later. So we'll delete those, selected and deleted them. And I'm going to bring in the, uh, let's see, I'm going to bring in the 
profile view. But first, let's move this. I'll just click and drag to select everything. So you can click out like that, or you can hit Command A. It's going to grab everything. I'm just going to move it up here. Because the way that I'd like to orient this map, the reason why I created or made it a, uh, a vertical layout or a portrait layout on the page is because this cave is vertical. So this is the plan view, which is pretty much just a line. But the profile view is going to be kind of wind down that way. So let's go ahead now and we'll bring in our other um, SVG file. So I'll go to open and let's go, oh no, open, there we go. And we'll grab the profile. So there we go, pull it in. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, to zoom out, to fill this to page, you hit Command-0 will zoom out. Uh, other things you can do for zooming is, let's see, probably somewhere up here, probably under view, is zoom in, zoom out. You can see it's command plus, command minus. So command plus zooms in, command minus zooms out. And the other thing that, that I do is command and space bar. Oops. If you do it in the, the wrong order, then the spotlight search comes up on the Mac or space bar command. Now look, I've got the magnifying glass there. It's a temporary tool as long as I'm holding those keys down on my keyboard. And then I can zoom in this way and zoom out just by dragging up and down on the mouse. So that's another thing that I can do, keyboard shortcuts to zoom in and out. As soon as I let go of the spacebar and the command, then it goes away. So let's go back to command zero. We're going to turn off the layers we don't need. First, let's collapse them so that we can uh, see everything here a little better. So we're going to turn off the background, we're going to turn off the reference, turn off the comp features, turn off, leave comp tracing on, turn off the mask, the detail, the walls, leave the survey on so we get the line plot, 2D labels, we'll grab the labels, the grid will turn off, the legend will keep, and the frame will turn off. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit Command A to select everything. Command C to copy. Uh, on the PC, if you're using an Illustrator on a PC, when I say command, it's control for you. So command C would be control C for copy. We'll come back over here and hit control or command V to paste. And we'll just move this around here before we um, get too far. Okay, so there we go. We'll just drop that right about there. It's a good place. Now you'll notice that it's gone um, quite a ways off the artboard. So, um, oh, and you know, like another thing that I'm, that I'm noticing here, which is super cool, I didn't notice this, this before, but when I copied and pasted the, um, the, the profile view, it recognized that the layers that were basically the same on both of these SVG files, that they existed, and so when I pasted it, it looks like it pasted it, into the corresponding layer here, which is fantastic. So then I don't have duplicate two W2D legend layers, two W2D uh, labels layers, and so on. So that's fantastic. That's something I learned right now. I learned something new every day. Okay, so now that I've got this in, let's adjust a couple of things just to tidy this up. So I think what I'll do is move the scale. I'm gonna just click and drag. Oh, that's a problem. Okay. Um, I'm going to lock everything. Let's find where the scale bar is. Scale bar right there and the north arrow. So I want to turn all of these off. Or what I could even do is lock them. So I'm going to lock these layers. Now click and drag. And I've only grabbed the scale bar. And then we'll move the scale bar down right there. And uh, let's see. And then let's grab the scale bar for the other one. And we'll just collect these together. I want to make sure that they're this exact same size here. They should be because when I had exported them out, uh, these I, I set the scale the same. So it looks to me like the scale is identical. But just to be sure, I'm going to compare. So the way to do that is to grab this. Let's zoom in really close here. Um, the other keyboard shortcut I use a lot is the space bar. As long as I'm holding the space bar down, see the cursor temporarily turns into the hand tool so I can move and drag around. I let it go of the space bar and it turns back into the selection tool. So command or space bar command lets me zoom. Space bar by itself gives me the hand tool. 
and if I let it go, and then I've got the selection tool. So I'm going to grab this and just drag it up here and compare. Perfect. It is the exact same size. That is wonderful. Um, let's uh, actually, you know, I was going to change the artboard, but before I do that, I'm just going to verify that one inch here is 20 feet. So let me show you how I do that. We're going to zoom in super duper close. So there's 10 feet. Um, and if one inch is, let's see, was it one inch equals 20 feet? I believe it was. So I'm going to just double check that this bar, so that should be one inch, should be 20 feet. The way I can do that is I'm going to grab the corner up here in my rulers. If you're not seeing your rulers, hit Command R on the keyboard, or you can go up to View, and then down to Rulers and Rulers. So I'm going to grab this right here, right in the corner, and drag this, these crosshairs down right to the edge of the ruler. And what I'm seeing here is that this is 10 feet, this is 20 feet, or is that meters? Oh wait, no, 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 no. Okay, so I'm, let's see, the way that this was set up, now I just remembered, um, is that the scale on this one, I mean, typically I do one inch is 20 feet, but in this case, the scale is actually one centimeter equals 2.5 meters. So I need to adjust my rule, rulers here. I'm gonna click right there and change this to, let's see, one, let's change it to millimeters. And so, so if one centimeter equals 2.5 meters, then let me do this calculation in my head here. That would be four centimeters equals 10 meters, I believe. Okay, so actually let's change this then to centimeters. So I'm gonna drag this down again right to the corner there, and we want it to be four, let's see, are we right? One, five, okay, that's. So this is zero to one centimeter, two centimeters, three, four, and let's just take this up here, and that is spot on. Okay, so four centimeters equals 10 meters. Okay, great. So it looks like it came in perfectly, which is fantastic. If not, though, what I would have to have done is select everything here, because I don't want to just scale this, uh, the scale bar, but I'm going to hit Command A, oops, I hit Command A and it only selects these. Why? Well, because these layers are locked over here, so let's unlock them. Command A, and then I would need to come in here and again, uh, take a look at that. Uh, so there's four centimeters, 10 meters. Okay, great. Um, if it were a little bit bigger than that and I needed to scale it down, I would have to come out here, grab the corner with the selection tool, and then shrink that down. Now when I shrink it, like notice what's happening, it's really messing it up. So you have to hold the shift key down and the shift key constrains the proportions. So you can shrink that down just a little bit or expand it up just a little bit and then you'd expand it or contract it. You'd zoom back in here. You would grab this, reset it and check until that lined up exactly with the dimensions it needs to line up to. So lucky for us, like everything came in perfect. That is wonderful. I'm going to click off of here. We're going to zoom out just a little bit, and it looks like I'm going to need to make my page just a little bit bigger. So instead of like entering an, an exact dimension, I'm just going to grab the, uh, the artboard tool right there and then grab this and expand it out. I'm going to need some room for a title up here, and I'm going to need some room probably for cross sections and some other details. So I'll give it a little bit more space up here at the top for now. And that's probably a good, a good starting point. So I'll just click off of the, this tool, click right up there. And uh, that's it for this video. So in the next video, we'll walk through how to get your sketches in and line those up so that you're ready to start tracing over and drafting up your map.